Okay, I'm gonna make a very crude video of how I'm about to set up the wiring on my K truck. Uh, so up top you have the plug coming into the ignition switch and I have two switchable latching switches and a momentary uh, DPST, so dual pull, single throw. Uh, and then I use some distribution blocks. Essentially it looks like this, starting from the starting switch. So that's momentary. Uh, one input from black red, which is like an additional voltage booster. One input from white. The two outputs, fuse. And then one goes to the starter motor. One is going to go to the ignition power, which is coming off of this secondary set here. So I'll show you that. This is uh, the coin slot holder, flipped upside down, reinforced with pieces of carbon fiber. Um, but these are the two switches, so one will act as the accessory. So that's its own, it just takes an input from white, and then an output to, uh, on my car, uh, solid blue. This is the run or ignition switch. So it takes an input from white and it goes out black blue. Um, black blue is connecting to this one. So it connects to the start button, which is fusing to give additional voltage during starting. And then when the start button's released, you no longer have black red going and you're just going off of run, which is just white to black blue. Uh, the distribution block for all the white, so all the incoming from battery, so it links up, and you have, these are fused, one, two, three, it's going to be fused up to here. This one is accessory, this one is ignition, black, blue, and this one is going to be starter motor, and you just use these little bridges. And uh, this is going to be very simple. It's completely mechanical. There's no relays or like any logic to it, but uh, let's see how it goes in. So the truck is running. Um, I need to work out an issue with how I had the starter wired. So a lot of this is disconnected right now. Okay, this is how the wiring would be, except I'm running into some issues. So you can see coming off what used to be a plug, we now have a bunch of insulated ends. I removed the bridge that was connecting the start and the ignition. Uh, to the same power supply that was sending power to the starter all the time. However, the issue is that my start button, the back of it anyway, let me just show you. This is a, when you hit the button, it terminates the connection. And when you let go, it's a constant. That obviously is not gonna work for a starter application. So I need to replace both of these blocks with the same type of idea, but just a constant. Now I have one here. I'm gonna see if I can use that. I do believe this is the correct latching type. Uh, okay, I figured I'd wrap this video up by showing you the final product. I'm using a flashlight. I'm shooting this at night. Here's my start button. Mind the little uh, split there. I just need to squeeze it back together. Here are my switches. Um, probably want to redo that later on down the road.
That's the uh, fuel pump priming now. And then I just hit that start button. <laughs> okay, let's do it one more time. And uh, that's a real cold start. Hasn't been started in a little bit. And it'll immediately kind of kick on. And that's it. Pretty dirty right now, but anyway, let's see the end of the video.